Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jimbo. Man, we have so many videos in the pipe. In fact, I haven't been this excited for this many videos since really pre-pandemic. Anyway, in today's video, we're gonna be doing uh, the video on this. This is the new Meguiar's, their hybrid ceramic tire shine that they released or launched or talked about at SEMA. It's finally available. Uh, I picked this one up on Amazon. This is a 16 ounce bottle and it's gonna set you back $14.99 or $15, at least at the time of this recording. And so we're gonna go over a few of the features, what I've gone ahead and already done. We're gonna prep the tire. Uh, that's exactly what I've done. I prepped the tire, I prepped it with the Hybrid Solutions wheel and tire prep. I scrubbed it to get any of the browning out, and then I reapplied the product to see if there was any additional browning to make sure that tire was completely bare and then now we're going to take it out and apply the product but before we do that i want to mention some of the directions and some of the funny things that or at least things that i found funny on the label so let's talk about it so this is the bottle obviously and as you can see it has this really cool uh purple color that i really like it is their hybrid ceramic tire shine boasts long lasting high gloss and water resistant durability, which brings me to my next point that there are gonna be multiple videos on this product, torture testing it, putting it up against Chemical Guys products, Mother's products, Turtle Wax products, I, and that's why I'm so excited, you can probably hear it in my voice. There is gonna be a slew of videos to go along with this one. Not only are we gonna torture test it today, but I'm also gonna do a, a week long or a seven day test, and in that seven days, we're actually gonna have some rain in there. Uh, so there's gonna be some real world application in there too, and it really boasts this durable shine. Now, when we go back to the back, let me bring this in a little bit. Uh, the directions are very vague. Shake well, use on a clean and dry tire. It doesn't talk about anything, any heavy prep, though that is what I've done. And it gives you two options for high shine. It wants you to spray an even coat directly onto the tires and let it self spread. Now it doesn't talk about self spreading technology or anything like that. And then remove any overspray from the wheels, not the tires. So if you want high shine, it does not want you to wipe down the tires. And in fact, when I played around with it and wiped down the tires, it almost completely removes any shine. Not all the way, but it doesn't make it very shiny. However, in doing this, if you only spray it on, you're gonna get slings. So that's interesting to me. Uh, if you want a medium shine, it says to use it with an applicator, pad, or towel. Remove any overspray again from the wheels, which the overspray does um, come off really easy if you do on that. But it claims that you can go from dull to shiny tires with the added benefit of the hybrid ceramic technology. And so let's go apply it to the tire that I've already prepped and uh, talk through it some more. Okay, so like I've said, the directions are very simple. They don't get any easier. It's if you want high shine, you spray an even coat directly on the tires and let it self spread. I personally like high shine, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna shake the bottle. I'm gonna get a nice even coat. <clears throat> and then the problem with <clears throat> not wiping it is I guess it will need to self spread. So. Let's give it some, um, some time and let it do that. On the rear tire, <clears throat> I'll show it. it. If you use a towel and wipe it down, it significantly cuts down the shine. So my thought is, and it actually makes it kind of blotchy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So my thought is, is that I'll leave it sprayed on. However, because I have knobbier tires and it's not rubbed in, it may fling down the side of the car, even though it says that it's not going to. So some cool things to point out is that it really doesn't look like I have too much overspray onto my rim, which is nice. And honestly, especially with a black rim, if you do get a little overspray on it, it actually enhances the color of the black rim and takes away some of that dullness. I applied it heavy, but um, you can see that it's only running in a few areas, but it'll be interesting to see. And one thing I'm gonna try to do to kind of shortcut this drying process 
is going to be to get the blower, but what you're going to want to do is really, and this is where it's a hard balance too, you want to apply it on a dry tire, not a wet tire, but then you really want to let it dry before you go anywhere. I'm going to shortcut it with a blower, but you really don't want to, if you're watching the video right now, you don't want to drive off with your tire like this, not only with this tire shine, but any tire shine in general. You do not want that. So I'm gonna try to shortcut it with the blower. And that's not gonna dry it. So I'm gonna have to pause the video, wait for it to dry. It goes on white, but it will be clear or it will not be white, I guess. It'll be transparent and look like a normal tire shine when it's all done, but I'm gonna cut the video here and wait for it uh, and then let it dry completely. And then it does say that it's resistant to water, so we're gonna hit it with some water, use the blower to dry it, see how it looks, foam it with some soap, see how it looks. And then again, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a, a subsequent video with a real world application uh, or application like this and then let leave it on the tire and come back and look at it in seven days after in California we've had some rain and then see how it looks so make sure you subscribe to that subscribe for that video too so I'm gonna cut the video we'll come back to this once this is completely dried and see how it looks 30 minutes in let me check what the temperature is right now it's not a super warm day it is 66 degrees currently, 67 degrees currently, and it took about 20 to 30 minutes for this tire to dry completely to the point where I felt like we could hit it with some water. Again, the label doesn't talk about a cure time, it doesn't talk about anything, so, um, but I am doing a seven day full real life test, so if you don't like a torture test, check the description below for that real world seven day test where we actually get some rain in the forecast. But as you can see, there's a very nice shine to the tire. This is a great product. The problem with this as it is right now is that if I drive off, I'm 100% sure that it is gonna fling. Now I will have a follow up in my seven day uh, video on this product seven day real life video because I applied it sprayed it on and did nothing to it So this is a little bit of an expedited uh, Torture test, but I do have the real life test as well. You can look for that on my channel So what I'm interested in seeing is the difference between the two to see if my tests are validated or if I really do need to make sure We let stuff fully cure to be determined. However, I am completely satisfied with how this tire looks with tire shine on it. It looks very, very nice. Again, 100% looks great. Um, it looks great on the tire. It looks super even on the tire. It does look thick on the tire, but it looks very shiny, very nice. If I applied this product to my car and had it like this, I would be very satisfied. So let's see, for fun now, what it looks like when you put some water on it. So things we're looking for, is it beating up the water? Is it coming off? It looks like it's still there. So I'm gonna hit it with the blower now.
I don't want to speed up. It's going to make for a longer video, but I don't want to speed it up or do anything because I don't want people to think that I cut it or did anything weird. So bear with me as this kind of uh, takes a while. If you're interested, YouTube does has, have this feature where you can fast forward. So if you want to fast forward through this part, that's fine. I don't want anybody to be able to say that I cut the video. All right, so it definitely looks like it took a hit through here. It's looking a little bit inconsistent. And again, that's just with water. So. I don't have much hope for the seven day test. It definitely, even with just a little bit of water there, it looks different than the original one. And I've tried to really dry it as best I can. So let's hit it. What I want to do now is just, just going to hit it with some uh, Max Power Soap and see what it does, what it does to it. So looking a little splotchy just with water. my foam cannon. My Amazon foam cannon is going bad. So this would replicate or you know what I'm trying to duplicate is that you are doing your weekly washing and this is where I mean the product may fall. I, I like a tire shine that lasts a little bit longer um, but you know if you're taking your car to a car show or uh, you don't want a tire shine to last a long time. I don't know why you would, but just trying to think of reasons where this product fits. What I don't like is when they put it in their hybrid ceramic line and then it's not a killer product. I wish they would put it in a different line. So let's rinse this off and see where we stand. And again, I'll use the blower so we're not touching it. I don't want to. I don't want it to seem like I'm wiping it off. That's why I'm using the blower and not a towel. So it doesn't look terrible. It just doesn't look like it has tire shine on it anymore. And I, and it looks a little spotty. And I think the reason why it looks a little spotty is because it wasn't rubbed in. Um, when I do the seven day real life test, I actually apply the first layer, rub it in, um, and then I apply a second coat. So it, the good thing is right now is that the tire's not browning. It's not blooming. Obviously, we got a lot of that browning out, uh, but it's not, it's not looking worse. Uh, some chemical guys, tire shines that I've used, actually the tire looks 
worse after you use the tire shine, especially when you go through like a rainstorm. So it's not looking like that, which is a plus. It just doesn't look shiny in there anymore, but it's dark color, it's not brown. So I guess that's good. It's just not, uh, it's not as durable. It's gone, it's, it's really spotty. You could see, yeah, and it's spotty because I sprayed it as the directions say, and I didn't wipe it in. So if you don't wipe it in, you're gonna get this spottiness, but it didn't say to wipe it in. So let's take some hyper foam wheel and tire prep and see if that kind of takes care of the rest of it as we kind of reset this tire. Like I said, I'm gonna have multiple videos on this product, comparing it to other, other products, other similar products, and really just having fun with it. That's really one of my goals for this year with my YouTube channel is just to have fun with it again. I, I really got burnt out and wasn't having fun with it, so I stopped for a while, but make sure you uh, subscribe so you don't miss any of those super, super fun videos. So I'm gonna let that sit on there for a second. I'm not gonna scrub it. Again, I'm trying to do, so the reason why I picked this product is I'm trying to strip it so say it's on your tire, still getting that splotchiness, and then you're trying to figure out how to get it off your tire, how to get rid of the splotchiness. That's what this is after. Will a strong cleaner like this do it? So there you go, pretty much back to where we were, square one. So I think if I were to scrub it a little bit more, it looks like there's a little bit of residue from the tire shine still up around here. It probably needs a good scrubbing uh, to kind of get it consistent, but for the most part, that tire shine is completely gone. So does it have its place? I don't know. I think that's one thing I'm struggling with a lot with a lot of these products is where do they fit in? So. For 15 bucks, I did like the shine that it offered. I'm really interested to see the seven day effect on it. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below where this fits in. I really would like your help on it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.